Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting stories. The first one is about Phil Heath, who just posted a training and posing video. Actually, Hunter Rambut posted this video. So Hunter Rambut, Phil Heath's coach, is training Phil Heath now. They filmed this uh, training session, and after the training, Phil did some posing, and I gotta tell you guys, Phil looks insane. He still looks like he's, I don't know, eight weeks out? I mean, he looks like he's in the off-season, and that's it. He doesn't look retired at all, like he didn't lose any muscle, there is no atrophy, you're gonna see the other poses in a moment, but I mean look at him right here in this screenshot, I mean look at the fullness, look at the size, the size of his arms, shoulders, chest, the entire physique compared to his head, like proportionally he's still there, he still has the mass. And I mean, not just the mass, he still has that pop, he still has that 3D. And you're gonna hear what he has to say about it, and what Hunter Rambert has to say about it, which is very, very interesting. So, potentially, we might yet see Phil Heath back on the stage at some point, it's not out of conversation yet. It's not, guys, it's not. Before we hear what he has to say, let's check out the physique first, so, I mean, look at it right here. The delts, the arms, the chest, I mean look, look at this, once again, pay attention, the size, the shape, the roundness, the 3D, he still got it, I look at the details, I mean look at the fibers in the chest, he still has it all, look at the back in the background, look at the details in the shoulders, the brachialis, like the arms, you know, biceps, triceps, chest, like, he still has it all, basically, look at the back itself, I would expect his back to atrophy a little at least, but no, no, it's still there, if he got lean, it would still look amazing, it would still be, if you ask me, you know, probably top 3 in the world, I mean, I don't know what his midsection is looking like, but I don't see any bubble gut here, like, nothing is protruding, I don't know, is it aesthetic enough because of the surgery, but he doesn't seem to have a, a gut anymore, so, the, the shape is there, the details are there, the quality is there, the roundness, the 3D, everything is there, the size, guys, nothing atrophied in those three years, and based on what he's saying, he barely even trained, so this is insane, the way he looks right now, this is crazy, this guy once again could come back and still be in that top mix, now, can he beat Hari Chupan? Well, he did beat him in 2020, the last time he competed, and Hari was on in 2020 for sure, Maybe he's better now, but he wasn't off back then. Can he beat Derek? Well, if he is 100%, if he is completely on, sure, it's possible. I guess we always come back to Phil Heath's midsection. If his midsection is fine, and he is, I don't know, 80-90% on, I think that's enough for him to win another Mr. Olympia. I think it's not impossible. I mean, look at this guy right here. He's barely even training. I'm sure he's not blasting anything, you know, food-wise, training-wise, gear-wise. I think he's really taking it easy, taking it nice and slow right now. And if he, you know, started pushing it, went to that war mode, as he likes to say, then yeah, anything is possible. Let me show you guys what him and Hani Rambert have to say about this. The physique wants to come back in terms of just like that 3D look wanted to come back and it started to come back and it did come back and you started getting around, your triceps started popping, chest was getting 3D. That conflict I've been dealing with for the last three years and recognizing like, Phil, you're great at this. You're a master at this. And you've been holding back to try to almost like prove to yourself that you don't need the gym, you know, because we have had those wars. And uh, although it's not wartime, <laughs> like, it'd be a waste not to see uh, the different version of Phil. Going on stage doesn't have to be my identity, it doesn't have to do that, but being in the gym and actually training very, very hard means something. So you heard it, well basically he's saying that he's not necessarily going to compete again, but he is going to start training hard again. The impression that I got is if everything keeps clicking, if his physique comes back fully, and this is apparently not his physique at its absolute best, but like I said, he looks insane, even like this. I mean, I don't see how much better can it get for the offseason, but let's say he gets leaner and fuller and rounder and, I don't know, freakier, 
he gets all that 3D back, he gets shredded somehow by accident, you know, by trying to look good for, I don't know, for IG or whatever. Is he going to compete again? Could he jump into the Arnold Classic maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I mean, he didn't say anything like that, but I wouldn't be too surprised if he jumped in. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. All right, the next story is very, very interesting, very curious. It's about Stefan Matala. This story is basically viral right now. It's circling around the internet, around the social media. So this is at the last show of the year, the last chance for Classic Physique pros to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. This photo was taken by somebody, by some random person at the veins. And as you can see, Stefan Matala, he was measuring his height here and he lifted himself up a little bit. Now, I didn't know about this trick because personally, I never really had troubles making the weight, but if I ever do, this is definitely something I'm gonna try, so I don't know if this works. Everybody is saying as long as your heels are on the ground, you're good, that's it. The measurement will be good, you're gonna be measured properly. As long as you're not standing on your fingers, lifting your heels up, it's good, it's accurate, but... Look at what he's doing. I never saw this before. It never occurred to me that you could actually stand on the sides of your feet and maybe lift yourself up a little bit. I think you would lift yourself up a little bit. You guys can try this and tell me if it works for you. But yeah, yeah, I think it, it makes sense. It's a great idea. I mean, he figured it out. I don't know if they caught him for this. If they didn't let him check in like this. But yeah, he definitely, I think he gained at least like half an inch, at least, maybe even a full inch, in my opinion, the way it looks to me. But maybe as long as your heels are on the ground, you're actually, you know, the same height, you can't change much by doing this. But I don't know, it looks to me that he actually managed to make himself taller. I mean, even if it didn't work, he obviously tried something, he tried to cheat. I don't know how you guys feel about this, what I would say is like, I mean, whatever, like, if you can cheat the system, do it, like, anybody else can do this, so why the hell not, but maybe you're gonna be like, you know, it's not fair towards the other athletes, maybe he's gonna win the show, and his weight was at a maximum, and maybe if he stood like everybody else, he wouldn't make the weight, and the other guy made the weight normally without doing this, without, let's say, cheating, so yeah, that would make it unfair, the only question is whether the guys allowed him to do this or they didn't notice, he got away with it. Well, if they didn't see it, they can see it now, it's everywhere, basically on the internet, and what can they do now? I mean, they can't do much, he already started carving up, so he obviously is heavier now, they can't measure him now, so what's done is done, it is what it is, he's gonna be competing tomorrow, and we'll see if he's gonna win, his physique does look insane right now. This video is actually from one week ago, so I'm sure he's drier and harder and more conditioned now, but if he looked like this at one week out of a show, then yeah, he's gonna look insane. I mean, this guy, in my opinion, has the potential to be one of the top guys, like a top three guy on a Mr. Olympia stage. I don't see why not, I think he has all the tools necessary. I mean, he could have done some serious damage on the Mr. Olympia stage if he showed up. He was qualified, he didn't show up. Look at the back, look at the lats, like, look at the thickness. Like, he's got it, like, this guy has the genetics, you know, he can still improve that physique a lot and like polish it, make it better, but I mean, right now it's fantastic. I believe he's gonna win this show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. It's not like he doesn't have tough competition, he has Michael the Bull. But he doesn't have this kind of shape, this kind of aesthetics, this kind of classic look, bubbly, round look. Michael the Bull is always shredded, like he is probably the most shredded guy on a Mr. Olympia stage amongst all the classic physique guys. I mean, look at him right now. This was taken, this was actually posted 15 hours ago before this show in Austria, this classic physique uh, Mr. Olympia qualifier. So, I mean, he lost to Urs Kalicinski at Prague Pro, he was second there, so he is kind of a favorite to win this show, but we got this uh, entry of uh, Stefan Metala, so I don't know, honestly, I would bet on Stefan personally. 
And considering that he's probably going to be, you know, over the weight cap or the classic physique weight cap, he probably has the, the best chances to win this show. You guys can tell me down below in the comment section, what are your thoughts on this? Finally, we got an announcement from Andrew Jack. He decided yet again not to have an offseason. This guy is really determined about not really trying to grow as much as possible in the offseason and actually, you know, getting to the size of Samson Dowd and the other top guys and be in that conversation of winning the Mr. Olympia at some point. No, no, he wants to continue competing and he's gonna do the Arnold Classic uh, UK in 14 weeks from now. Uh, I don't understand why only Arnold UK and not Arnold Classic Ohio. I mean, Samson is probably doing both, so it doesn't really matter. He probably won't win. I mean, he might win. It's not impossible. It's not like that he's so far away from Samson, but I mean, who knows? Maybe he's going to make progress in the prep. I mean, after the show, after the Mr. Olympia, he didn't really take any time off. He kept posting like uh, training videos, posing videos, and he does look you know, really swole right now. He looks like he blew up. He's probably utilizing the post-show rebound as good as he can because that's the only time that he can actually grow because he never has an off-season. And he looks like he blew up. I mean, I don't know how much of this will stay when he is show ready, but, you know, he might make some progress. He did make progress over the past years even though he never had an off-season. I mean... It's not really the progress that we want to see, you know, we want to see him bring up like another 20 pounds of muscle. I mean, that's what everybody keeps saying, he needs more muscle. I mean, in some poses he looks pretty much unbeatable because of his shape. Front double, for example, is one of his stronger poses, but still you can see right here that he needs more fullness in those arms and forearms. He just overall needs more mass, and I mean, he keeps progressing from show to show in the post-show rebounds, but if he wants some serious, serious mass gain, he needs some time off. However, he's not gonna take it this year, no. He is gonna be competing again in 14 weeks, and my guess is also in 12 weeks. I don't know why would he skip the Arrow Classic Ohio. He's probably gonna do both of those shows. I'm pretty sure Samson already announced that he's gonna be doing both UK and Arnold Classic Ohio, so, uh, I mean, Andrew won the Arnold Classic UK last year, but he was only against uh, James Hollingshead and Martin Fitzwater and the other guy from Kuwait who was actually second, so, you know what I'm saying, he didn't have a top three Olympian over there, so, it's gonna be really tough for him to beat Samson and win the Arnold Classic UK, but if he doesn't win that show, he can win another show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Personally, I would like to see him to take an entire year off, not do the Mr. Olympia 2024, and try and qualify next year in 2025 and do the Mr. Olympia that year. If he actually progressed in the offseason that much, then I could see him battling for the Mr. Olympia title. I think he has all the tools necessary, but... Apparently he's not doing it and I guess this is good news for us, for fans to watch this, this phenomenal bodybuilder on the stage so soon But, you know, I would like to see him fulfill his maximum potential and I don't know if this is the way But maybe it is, maybe it's not gonna prevent him from progressing Maybe he wouldn't progress much more in the offseason, maybe he wouldn't be driven enough if he didn't have a show soon I don't know. Anyways, guys, we're gonna see him in 14 weeks at the Arnold Classic UK. You guys tell me down below in the comment section what do you think about Stefan Matala incident and what do you think about Phil Heath's physique right now? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.